Hey, this JD and FIA. I'm going to give you these chords here in F sharp. I'm going to play with it, add it to your talk music or just whatever. All right, so uh, very simple. All right, so first we're playing a two chord, A flat minor seven chord. Left hand I have A flat and E flat. Right hand I have G flat, B, and yeah, that's all I'm playing. You can add the G flat up top if you want to. All right, so G flat, B, and G flat. But I'm coming off the B flat to get to the B right there to give me that sound. All right. When I go to my three chord, B flat, I'm just gonna keep it simple. So first, I got B flat, F on my left hand. Right hand I have A flat, D flat. So For my four chord, my B7, B major 7, I'm gonna play my B and G flat on my left hand. Right hand, I'm gonna play my B flat and my E flat. But I'm gonna come off the D flat to hit my, hit my E flat. All right, B major 7. So we have, once again, that sound. Alright, then you're going to go back to your two chord. Alright, your A flat minor, seven. And we're just going to leave that G flat out. So we're just going to play the G flat and B, coming off the B flat. Alright, now you got options here. Once you get to this, so you have Alright, once you get here to this A flat again, you have options. You can either go to your B flat minor seven, the same chord you went to the first time. Or you can go to your five chord, D flat major seven chord, or I'm sorry, D flat seven chord. For this way, I'm playing all I'm playing is a five D flat and A flat in my left hand. Right hand, I'm playing a four chord, B, uh, E flat, and G flat. So I'm playing a B major chord with the five in my left hand, and I'm adding the nine to the B. Or just simply the chord that I'm playing D flat. Alright, so that's how I got that chord. Alright, so. Or. Alright, you choose which one you want, or you can do both. Alright, whichever one, it doesn't matter. Your next chord is going to be your E flat. Uh. E flat uh, seven chord. All right, uh, so you can look at it as a sus. All right, but basically the easy way. All I'm doing is I'm playing the E flat, B flat, and E flat in my left hand. The, the six there, you know, on the six of the scale. Right hand, I'm playing. All I'm playing is a five chord, D flat major. All right, but I'm playing it first inversion. F, A flat, D flat. And then I'm just gonna add that B flat just to fill it up. So I have left hand E flat, B flat, E flat. Right hand I have F, A flat, B flat, D flat. Just a D flat major chord. Alright. Inverting it. And then adding the B flat. Alright. So. Move hitting a B flat, D flat, G flat, a G flat major chord, just invert it. Then I'm hitting a five chord, A flat, D flat, F, D flat major chord. Then I'm hitting G flat, A flat, D flat, and then taking that down to my final chord.
then you're gonna go to your four chord, B major seven chord. All I'm doing, that fan up in B, G flat, and B octaves with the fifth in it. Right hand, I'm playing a one chord, G flat major chord, G flat, B flat, D flat, and that'll give me a B major seven. All right, so that's two. And I even can come off the A flat to get to the B flat. Like that. So the whole thing real slow. You ain't got to do that part right there, right here. You ain't got to do that part right there. I just like to do that. You can just simply go straight to it. I usually like to hit some kind of inversion before I go there. All right, and then go to that four chord. If I choose to go to the five chord instead of the three, me up still go to the six so up the real speed or Just play with it. Alright, so I hope they help. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.